Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to get in my car. Is that yours? Uh, yeah. Okay. Were you involved in an argument earlier with some female? Uh, yeah, about getting my car back. Okay. Is there an issue? Well, somebody called in that you're breaking into the car, so that's okay, why. My car. Okay. I mean, it says L and M Computer Solutions on the back of it. So, okay. Yeah, I mean. Do you have your ID on you by chance? It's in the car. It's in the car. Okay. Is there anything else you need? Well, I need to make sure that you're not breaking into a car, that's all. Here we see a man being accused of breaking into a car, literally proving by definition that he isn't doing anything illegal after opening the car's locked trunk and providing his ID to the officers, despite her seemingly hostile tone and body language. Don't run up on me like that. You need to relax, bud. You know, 44, stay over here, please. I'm going to get in my stay, car. Stay right here. For what? Am I, am I being detained? Stay right here. Am I being detained? Yes. For what? For right now, I don't know if you're breaking into a car. Exactly. Stand right there. That's there. suspicion. That's Stop. Deep. Stop. Seriously, oh, you want to play? Oh, you really need to go here? Stop. Because you're violating my rights now. Okay. Well, then you can relax until I can determine you're that. You're violating my rights. You really want to do this? I need your badge number. I need your badge number. And you can get our names and everything also. Right. And of course, he gets detained just for questioning the officer's commands, even after clearly showing that this is his car. But apparently having the correct key and knowing where his ID was is not enough to convince the power-tripping officer. Because I can definitely make complain about this. That's fine. Absolutely, you can. Stand right there. I'll stand right here. What no, am I going to do? No, you'll stand, buddy. I'm gonna, Stop. Uh, Stop. You, stand now right you, there. Now you put your hand Stop. Now Stand right there. Dude, don't touch me. Okay. Now you're facing that way. Or what? Or what is going to happen? You're going to take away my birthday, sir. You're going to take away my birthday? No, you're not. She's got my license. She's got the thing. I can give you the insurance card, which is in there, and it has my license on okay, it. Okay, and that's all we needed. So, but that's it. You got it. I can okay, I need you to relax for but a minute. I can't get my license. I, I will. Stand by. Okay? The man is spot on here again. How did they expect him to provide more evidence that he owns the car when they handcuffed him? while trying to give them more documentation. The detained man then explains that the earlier argument the cop alluded to was about him getting his car back from the woman he was arguing with, saying that this is where she dropped it off and he got the keys back. He also says that his key doesn't open the doors, which explains why he left the keys in the truck when trying to retrieve his insurance information. All right, as soon as they can confirm this, I'm gonna take you out. You look right there mm -hmm. on that keychain, it's got my dog tag right there. Okay. That's all of it in there. Okay. So, I mean, but like I said, now you did this, now you violated my rights, now I'm gonna have to do a, what you call it, civil suit against you. Do whatever you, you need to do, bud. What also shouldn't be lost here is the callousness of this officer's response to the threat of a civil lawsuit. It's like she knows no matter what, she won't be held accountable in any real way from a civil suit. But I guarantee you, your cooperation would have gotten you a lot farther. I did cooperate. I told you it was my car. No. Just because you tell us something doesn't mean people don't lie to us every single day. At Gabe, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He's not going to understand because I don't know you. I don't know you. You're right. <laughs> I'm not breaking into a car. I'm not breaking into a car. Either. Okay, was that concerted, considered? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you take him out of handcuffs, please? Yep. I mean, I have no reason to lie to you, so I'm, if I were told I, you. I don't know you. I, you. I don't know you. Right. And I'm so, not the one trying to get into a car here at the exactly. park. So so your exactly. So, exactly. your body camera on? Absolutely, it is. Okay, so I can, I can recall Chris all that? Yep. Yep. Mr. So, is it Porus? It's Ellis all that. Oh, I apologize. Porus is your middle name. Exactly. I'm not one of your best going to run around here. <laughs> Who said that? Well, I mean, just... Who said I, that? I, stop. I see, just stop. I stop. Stop. Because you rolled three deep? Yeah. To vehicle stealing, burglary? Absolutely. Stealing a yeah. 1988... <laughs> 1998 Toyota Camry. <laughs> get real now. What was your name? Oh, let me, get, let, me get, let me just get that right there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. We always, we always want to be some time, don't we? How much longer are you going to be here? Uh, until I get in. Okay. Is that an issue? I mean, it's a public park. The park doesn't I'm just, down I asked a question. Do you I want mean, to be that argumentative with me? I'm just trying to point it out. You're getting argumentative with me. I asked you a question. I Maybe I was going to offer you some help, sir. No. But you don't need my help. I you got, got it. it I'm almost got it. Okay. All right, we can stand by with you. For what purpose? Because it's a public park. Oh, okay. And even after taking him out of the cuffs, the gaslighting, the condescending tone, the harassment, it wouldn't stop. 
It just goes to show how these officers really feel about the people they're supposed to be serving.